it's time for, well, I guess an EBF4 recording. Um, it has been a while, to be honest. And if you're wondering why, just if the audio sounds weird, that might be your reason. That's just that's, that's a nice shortcut back and forth through the Crystal Caverns. And with the use of scan bug, we find out we got... I forget what are, what, what are these called again? Evil Mushrooms. Yeah. Okay. Terrible disaster, like something so bad it would completely change the world for the worst. 
At least that's what I've been told. Yeah, no, I swear to listening to the storyline. This could be important. You can't understand you anyway. You're a cat. That's why you're trying so hard to get the tools back. I guess we're gonna find out if someone's out to steal them all or the burn them all just all that. Yep, and if the other tools haven't been stolen yet, we'll have to spread the word and help protect them. There's some sort of puzzle here in this rock. These cabins must be extremely boring. You think it's valuable? I hope there's more of them. Yeah, you want to look, look out for those fossils, though. Because there's this one quest that requires you have... And you can get some pretty cool stuff out of it if you do. Okay, there's a stone sprites, rock sprites, earth sprites. I don't know. Rock. Okay, so I was right the first time. Just bring all the nice effects you have and you can be fine. Yeah, this is a weird area for me though because um the enemies here are so variant in elements that like, you really can't have one equipped with something. You really can't. Okay, so for Matt, we just got, um, Tundra, which is basic ice skill, decent damage. And for Lance, we just got his only healing skill, Meta Pack, which heals an ally and, and removes any staff effects they have. So that's actually a pretty useful skill. I still don't like, I still don't like Lance.
push this ice block here, you push this ice block here, you push it here, and then you just push the first one. Boom. Just. Get your candle. So that candle serves two functions that we'll see. The, um, that candle serves two functions that you'll see um, pretty soon. But for now, we're going to get this next fossil. As well as ice rays. Very similar in weaknesses, both also weak to wind and holy, but instead of being weak to water, this, these ones are weak to fire. Unfortunately, the, uh, the ice waves have some pretty nice links to death spells, which can cause a real problem. Yeah, that one's supposed to be the Come on, give me a finish already. Done. Oh, look. Those 
we're gonna have to test. Oh, and here's another fossil. That's three out of five, I believe. Hey, there's a friend out there. does is that it takes some, um, it just enhances the power of your normal attack. Similar to how um, maps unleash work, where the weapon effects of your weapon are stronger than usual and more normal in a single attack. Wait, did I forget something? Oh yeah, and to this new slime cat, but you also can go back. So yeah. And now you're back here, you've noticed, light up all eight torches here. Do it, do it, do it. Boom, chest. So what you got there was your first ball of holy water and the slime bunny. So, you want to complete this quest here if you... I mean... I would personally suggest you complete this quest first since he gives you... Talisman Seal. So, that's essentially a pretty basic physical holy attack. Oh yeah, you want to talk to this guy again because he'll give you free stuff. Just for returning back. I don't think there's not much- oh yeah. And then for the main reason we came back here, the equip shop. You wanna go grab any- I, anything you couldn't get before. 
Well, you probably won't be able to get everything here, but... Get, cr get Crimson Dragon. Get the Green Cross and Rocket Sticker. Um... Maybe the road sign? Yeah, i do the road sign. And then Purpose. So... I don't think you'll be able to forge too much of these, but you can still get something. Swords of the upgrade is quick. And for those flares, the uh, green cross us um, flare gives you random regeneration status. And the broccoli sticker gives um adds a poison effect to every attack. Your, well, it replaces your weapon effect with poison, so... If you were originally, like, doing, like, stun, you're now doing poison. Whether you like it or not. So if you don't want it, don't put the badge on. I'm just playing the badge on because I... Well, it really fits on Anna as a character, since she's really the ranger here who deals all the status. So, with that, you can go back to, um, you can go back to where you left off at the slime bun, at the um, slime cat, yeah. But, and this is a, wait, did we go here already? I don't think we did. This is a strange place, it's not on my map. It doesn't look like it's part of the main story. It's a bonus area, though. Yes, that is. So, as I, as I was alluding to before, this is a secret area. Well, this isn't a secret area, but this is an area only exclusive to the Steam version of this game. So here, you can fight, um, you can fight enhanced versions of older bosses, or you can do an enemy rush for the certain area, area that the, that the um, part of the map represents. So here, this represents Greenwood Village, so you get a uh, tougher version of the Mighty Oak, and a boss rush, and an enemy rush of um, bears, turtles, bushes, lava jellyfish, I think. So with that, I think that's enough for now. Um, this has been the cat. We'll see you in the